You've just beaten several impossible death games and now must compete in a game of Among Us Cross Between Survivor where you have to completely rely on the trust of others to survive. How do you win? I'm going to break down the mistakes made, the best strategy and what you should do to beat the Jack of Hearts in Alice in Borderland Season 2. This man is the smartest to ever play the death games but now he has to enter an abandoned Tokyo prison to face off against 19 other players in a game of prison cell. Going into this game, he's immediately given a headset with a display that he can't see at all. Knowing that Hearts games are games of betrayal, it now seems that he'll have to rely on the trust of others to give him the information to clear the game. We do see a window that could be used to reflect an answer on the way in, but this hope is shortly lived as the rules are revealed. Reflective surfaces, including security cameras, silver and windows, are not permitted and violence against other participants is not allowed. Chishia discovers that the main goal of the game is to guess the suit on the back of his collar. However, he must do so every single hour, with the suit changing each time he guesses. He must enter a prison cell 5 minutes before the hour is up, and if he fails to guess correctly, the collar will explode, eliminating him from the game. It is revealed that the Jack of Hearts is among them, and to win the game he must answer incorrectly and fail to guess his own suit. There is no time limit to this game, and the players are all supplied with plenty of food and water. The number of days on a player's visa will remain the same, but Chishia realises that eventually someone must lie to properly start the game. Even so, the time advantage will allow him to properly observe and establish relationships with all players. In this game, no one can be trusted, so he must look for every detail in order to win. Having a good emotional intelligence and experience in reading others is crucial when deciding whether another player is telling the truth, so knowledge on the subject or a background in a career such as psychology would definitely help. The eye movement, body language, facial expressions, decision making and all aspects of another player's words must be analysed when detecting a lie. As the game begins, players begin to branch off into groups along with a large crowd of people. Staying with the main pack while also holding separate relationships will give Chishia the best chance of survival as he can start to analyse each member of the group while also asking different people the colour of his suit. He does end up befriending another man while also joining the pack, however even so, Chishia's silence can hurt him sometimes, and he would have benefited from having some other relationships through this game. This lady immediately marks herself as the leader of the main group, asking both Chishia and his friend to join. And while doing this will allow you to call the shots, it is also a huge mistake in a game of alliances, as the leader is always blamed and picked off for any errors. Chishia, on the other hand, stands slightly away from the group, able to observe while also keeping a watchful eye on his own people. Most players form a circle and begin to read out everyone's first suit. Some are bolder in helping others, while the quieter players typically follow the leader. These kinds of people are the easiest to read when it comes to lying, whereas the confidence of this girl cannot be so easily understood. Along with observing the group, Chishia also notices an interesting confrontation between two players, who seem to have struck an agreement despite Wan's aggressive nature. Chishia notes this, along with the other pairings in the whole group. The first round passes and no one is eliminated from the game. It is now around 2 and we finally start to see the game really begin, with this bald man shoving his partner to the ground claiming he won't tell him his suit. And while this is slightly suspicious behaviour from the victim, what's more unusual is what happens next. Banda, the man from the confrontation earlier, kneels down behind the victim and appears to whisper something to him. Chishia can get the sense that Banda is a cunning yet intelligent person, so for him to bring attention to himself and look like he's calling the shots, he must have some reason to break the game open. Banda must feel his life is threatened, so he can immediately become sceptical of his partner, who has also accepted a crazy and unpredictable person to play with. In this game, making a decision that everyone can see, like the bald man's shove or Banda's words, actually makes you less likely to be the jack, but not in the view of the other players. The fallen man then shouts clubs, and the bald man, now with the information he needs, walks away from the group. As he enters his cell, he incorrectly guesses clubs and is killed. The bald man's partner is now the main suspect, and the doll girl instantly expresses her wish to kill him. As the main group read out his suit, they are hesitant in answering the question, a clear sign of a lie. When he turns back around, most group members also shift their gaze and look around at each other for some kind of assurance. Chishia, able to easily read this information, doesn't pay much attention to the group, instead focusing on other players and their actions in the cafeteria. The third round ends, with the man killed and 18 players remaining. Panic is now setting into the group as another player is picked off at random by the doll girl in the fourth round. This woman, seeking confirmation from elsewhere, is given the wrong suit by these two guys and is killed in the fifth. We skip to round nine and there are now only 13 players left in this game. 
This man, sick of all the killing, now makes an enemy of himself, hesitating to tell the doll girl her suit. Both of them express desires to kill each other in the 10th round, and it is up to the two remaining active members of the Alliance to decide their fates. In the end, the players lie to both of them, and the group has now been reduced to a team of two, with Chishia and his partner on the side. In round 12, this distrust continues, with groups now caving in and killing each other out of fear. I think it is worth noting Chishia's decision to stand next to a seemingly passive player at the beginning of the games, as he is less likely to lie, and if he does, it can be easily read. There are six players left, and it is now round 13. Chishia attempts to comfort his partner Ipe as he threatens to leave the game, but he seems to have lost all hope. Round 13 ends, and Ipe, letting the timer run out, is removed from the game. Chishia, now partnerless, is in a worrying bind at the start of the 14th round. His lack of options are now exposed, and he must scramble to decipher his suit. Approaching Banda's partner, Matsushita, he plants the idea that Banda is unstable to grab his attention. The man then fleetingly tells Chishia Hearts the wrong suit. This man has more incentive to remove Chishia than keep him whether he is the jack or not, and he also acted strangely through the game. At this point, he can also guess that it is likely that this man is the jack of hearts, so he'll have to dismiss the heart suit. Kotoko, another participant, then attempts to flee the cafeteria after Chishia appears to speak to her. She keeps walking until he mentions the name Matsushita, so he can assume that they may be working together, and so she will be inclined to lie. He states that his own suit is clubs, and she says nothing, instead escaping back to the main area. This isn't the best result for Chishia, yet Kotoko would most likely have objected if his suit was clubs, so he now has to pick out of diamonds and spades. On the way upstairs, Chishia also notices both Banda and this guy, Yaba, return to the main room at almost exactly the same time. He can also assume that they too are working together, yet it doesn't really help him in uncovering his suit. Both are intelligent players, so their answers cannot be trusted if Chishia were to ask for his suit. He now must guess from diamond or spade to clear the game. It may sound harsh, but once again Chishia's silence and his lack of interaction with Ipe has led him to this situation. Round 14 has now ended, and it seems that Matsushita is the sole survivor of the game. He then breaks out in some kind of joker laugh before Chishia, Banda, and Yaba all exit their cells. Each knows that Matsushita is the jack, as Chishia confirms that a now-dead Kotoko was communicating with him through the cafeteria. This game ends as Banda and Yaba stick around to question Matsushita while Chishia leaves the prison. The Jack of Hearts game was a thrilling ride from start to finish and really allowed Chishia to shine as who I think is the best character of the show. It'd be cool to see both Banda and Yaba back for Season 3, along with some more Chishia solo games. Otherwise, that's all for now, and I'll catch you in the next one.